Note, this episode assumes you've seen the episodes on the existence of God and the truth of Catholicism. Please check the directory in the video description if you haven't watched those yet. Hey, welcome back to Clean Cut, where we can talk about the truth about just about anything, as long as we use logic and common sense. This season we're talking about the existence and nature of God. Now, because God is infinite and we're not, we can't ever come to a full understanding of his nature, but we can at least learn a few things about it. Today, are the perfections of other things present in God? Some people say that God can't have the perfections of other things because, as we addressed earlier, God is simple, and there are many different types of perfections, some of which conflict. A perfect pillow, for example, would be soft, while a perfect hammer would be hard. So, it wouldn't be possible for a single, simple being to have all of those perfections. However, if God can have simple perfection itself, there wouldn't need to be any conflict. That perfection could be different when approached differently, or with a different purpose in mind and still be perfection. A lump of clay, for example, can be soft, or it can be hard, depending on how we approach it, how we treat it, and what we use it for. In the same way, the perfection of God can be perfect in ways which, to us, might seem to be in conflict, but which really aren't. Some people think that God can't have the perfections of other things because, as we explained earlier, his nature is the same as his existence. If he is existence, then he must not also have the perfections of things like life, intelligence, etc., right? Well, no. Remember, life, intelligence, and so on are perfections that are never found in non-existence. If God is existence in its purest and most perfect form, then he would also have everything contained within our own existence as well, including life and intelligence, which are more perfect than being inanimate and ignorant. That's just one reason for thinking that God has the perfection of other things. I was also hinting at another one just now. Remember, God is perfect absolutely perfect, as in the source of all other perfections. How can you be the source of something unless you're able to provide it? How can you provide something if you don't have it? It just wouldn't make any sense for God to lack some goodness, some perfection, which can be found in the physical world, since then he would be lacking in some way and would therefore not be truly perfect. That's Two more reasons right there to think that God has the perfections of other things, his own perfection, and the need to have what he gives to others. So, we have at least three good reasons to think that God has the perfections of other things, but no reasons to think that he doesn't. It's pretty clear where the balance of the evidence points. Next, can a created being ever be like God? That's all for now, so keep asking questions, and thanks for watching.